Now we forge your heads, huh? <laughs> you mean, let's get it on. <laughs> Salt and pepper, that's the name. And we gotta claim the fame. We know how to turn you on. You better believe you won't want us to leave till the dawn. Lock us wheeling through the night. And you will dig we're not uptight. And it really sucks to crime. We're standing rhyme and we're feeling sublime. One more time. Wow, one more time. I said oh, one more time, salt and pepper, one more time. Man, we're always on the go, and where we're going, we don't know. Something makes us want to move, we're traveling fast, and the feeling will last while we do. Lock us wheeling through the night, and you will dig we're not uptight. And it really starts to cry, we're standing rhyme, and we're feeling the blind. One more time, wow, one more time. I said, oh, one more time, salt and pepper. Hey, wait a minute, you two. New boy. You can't park here. This is a police pound. We know. <laughs> no, sir, I don't think you understand. This is where the police tow the cars that are parked illegally in the street. Yes, well, we know that. So you can't park here? Well, officer, I don't think you understand. We own the Salt and Pepper Club around the corner, and we thought we'd park in the street out there. Oh, you can't do that. It'll get towed away. Where? Well, here. That's it? We thought we'd bring it in ourselves and save you the trouble. Yes, but please don't try to thank us. Anything we can do to help the boys in blue. Sir! But, uh, but, but... Later. Good night, officer. Uh, oh, but... Yes, but... Inspector Crock, what seems to be the trouble? I'll tell you what the trouble is. All right. So, uh, what's the reason of that? I'll give you one guess, Mr. Pepper. I don't need any guesses. It's simple and plain. Police persecution. Ronnie, will you cool it? Cool nothing. Now, get out of the way, will you, Chris, please? I'll handle this. Inspector, let me tell you something right now. In the last week, we've had three members of Parliament, right, Chris? And five lords. Five lords. You might as well know now. I don't get mad often, but nobody treats my partner and I this way. I intend to see that you get busted. Oh, here's another fine mess you got us into. I was only trying to protect you. Silence in the dock. Yes, sir. Thanks. Not to mention resisting arrest. And the accused were hostile and abusive. Go on, Inspector. The premises are now closed and sealed. The owners will have no access pending a decision on the cancellation of its license. Thank you, Inspector Croc. Mr. Pepper, it distresses me to see a member of a distinguished family in such a degrading position. Your conduct brings disgrace to a famous, one might almost say revered name. 
I know nothing about your family background, Mr. Salt. Oh, it was just like every day, you know. I was born in Harlem, uh, and my family was on relief. We used to hang around in the corner, me and the cats, you know, just going, hey, babe, what's happening? Silence! The record of this club is a deplorable one, showing repeated and overt violations of the drinking and gambling laws. I find the charges proved. You will each be fined the sum of 500 pounds, with the alternative of six months in prison. Have you anything to say? Yes, Your Worship. I would like to ask for time to pay. As our assets are frozen, things are a bit tight. One week to pay. Yes. Well, my... You see, Judge, my ass assets are frozen, too. <laughs> and I would like about five years <laughs> to pay. One week. Yes, I understand. One week. You know that don't give us but seven days, don't you? I'm so sorry, my lord. Dreadful day for the family. More than dreadful, Vig. It's intolerable. Something must be done. Said, old boy, you remember Charlie Salt, my partner, don't you? Yes, of course. By reputation. I'm surprised you have the nerve to come here. What do you want? Fast 500 pounds. Unless you want a jailbird for a brother. <laughs> and then you can slow it down and make it a thousand. I sure appreciate it. Thousand? Well, you see, I don't have a kind hearted brother. And since we're partners, I thought you could take care of my fine, too. I will pay your fine. Both your fines. If you will both undertake to leave within the week and never to set foot in England again. What? What? This is the last time that you'll ever get anything from me. I can't prevent you from inheriting the title, of course, although I wish I could. The castle will be left to the National Trust. Whatever monies I have will go to charity. Oh, who cares? I can hardly expect you to do the decent thing and drop dead any quicker than I will. But suggest throwing me... This is my country, too! Yeah, and mine. Yours. Yeah, m look, forget about me, okay? But what about Chris, man? He's your brother! I don't have to answer to you, Mr. Saul. Those are my conditions for paying your fine. If you don't like them, get someone else. That's exactly what we'll do. Come on, Charlie. Johnny, wait. Listen, brother dear. I didn't choose to come into this world two minutes after you and run second ever since. I'm tired too. What do you think I'd give to retire to that damn great castle and put my feet up too? I earned my retirement. I can't help thinking that... I might have had a little more sympathy and understanding and our position's been reversed and I was in your shoes. You're not in my shoes, Christopher. And never will be. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do for lunch? You got any money? I ain't got a cent. How would you like to have lunch at Grindle's Club? Grindle's Club? Isn't that the club that your brother had you thrown out of? You just wait right here. I've got an idea. Was everything to your satisfaction, my lord? Uh, absolutely super, Joseph. Super. 
Thank you. And the fool is good, too. Uh, may I have my bill, please? With pleasure, my lord. But may I sign for you? As usual, I'll take care of everything. Uh, that's very, very kind of you. Uh, I tell you, by the way, would you be good enough to order me a taxi? My chauffeur has a day off. With the greatest of pleasure, certainly, my lord. Mm. Thank you. You did it. You did it. You pulled it off. <laughs> I never said you got the voice you look like. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is. Uh, Jimmy, tell me the first thing. Thank him for a lovely lunch. <laughs> it was a good. It was a good lunch. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him exactly what he can do with his money. His dimes, nickels, quarters, and his dollars. <laughs> right. And then to show him our true feelings, I'm going to punch him right in the nose. Uh -huh. You just go and sit across the street in the coffee shop. Right. Sydney, old boy. Or wherever you are, I just came to tell sympathy and understanding and our position's been reversed and I was in your shoes. You're not in my shoes, Christopher. And never will be. And never will be. And never will be. And never will be. to get my checkbook. Well, I was helping him out, you see. When I came back, he was gone. I suppose it was a heart attack. No. Not a heart attack, Lord Pepper. No, I assume. No. Your brother was murdered.
Yes, Mr. Salt. Your partner's been murdered. Kill him. You are insane. Are you all right, my lord? Yeah, I think so. How dare you attack his lordship and make allegations of that kind? That ain't no allegation, man. He killed him. They were alone. They were not alone. Somebody came in through that window and shot him with a poison dart. A kind of African. African blowpipe gun. Now, where were you during this past hour? I don't know. I don't believe this, man. Sure, I'd kill him, wouldn't I? I would kill Chris, my best friend. My lord, would you like to charge this man with malicious assault? No. Just forget it. My lord, the... Uh, the telephone? No, no I'm, I'm... I'm fine. I'm... Speaking. What's this about delaying your report? You've been back for 24 hours. We want it urgently. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. The report. Uh, yeah, well, I, I can't talk now. The people are here. Yeah. He's behaving very oddly. <coughs> Didn't sound himself at all. And the report? Well, he couldn't talk to people there. We'll try him again later. That'll be all for now, my lord. And, uh, Thank you for being so patient. Thank you, Inspector. Come on, you. Out. Oh, that's all right, Inspector. I want to have a word with him. My lord, uh, this man is dangerous. I can take care of myself. I have him. Very good, my lord. You lift one finger against his lordship, I'll send you down for five years. Would you like a drink? I don't want to drink with you. It's quiet. I understand how you feel, Salt. Well, if I were you, I'd be pretty scared. <sighs> My dear fellow. Be sensible. <clears throat> Why would I kill Christopher? Just save myself 500 pounds? I don't know. But I intend to find out. Look, you wanted to talk to me. What about? <clears throat> well, judging from your rather violent reaction to my brother's death, I, I gathered that you were rather attached to him. Attached? Let me tell you something that you're not going to understand, because, see, I, I never really understood it myself. But he liked me. See, he was the best friend that I had in the entire world. He liked me. Well, uh... Now that he's... <clears throat> now that you're by yourself, what are you going to do? <clears throat> Six months, remember? No, oh, well, you... You needn't. I mean, I, I'll pay your fine. You could come work for me at uh, Pepperworth Castle. Why? Particularly, why me? <laughs> oh, well, perhaps I misjudged you. you. You seem like a loyal sort of fellow, and I, well, I need someone like that. My poor man, the floor of the drawbridge. <laughs> no, no, nothing, nothing my menial, I assure you. I'm planning a lot of changes down there, you see, and, and I need a sort of uh, 
Well, a controller, someone who can run the estate. Well, it's uh, better than six months in jail, isn't it? Why don't you think it over? Well, I don't get it, see? But I'll go with you. Because I just got to find out what makes that head turn around. There are some of us who strive unremittingly to make our gift precious, acceptable in his sight. There are others who care not what they are or what they become. Christopher Pepper was struck down in dastardly fashion at the very prime of life. I did not know the deceased personally, but whatever his earthly life may have been, let us pray that he is now in some place of eternal refreshment and safely across the heavenly bar. Poor old Charlie. Shall I tell him? I am the resurrection. Yes, I should. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Now, I know that my better wait and see if I get away with it. You miserable little traitor. How could you work for a man like that? You couldn't say no to a comfortable pad, could you? Yes, my lord. No, my lord. Charlie Thor, listen to me. I never thought I'd ever say this to you. But you're the lowest man. You're a rat. In fact, it's worse than that. You're a stone, aren't you, Tom? Now, you listen to me, and you listen good, baby. I'll be an Uncle Tom. I'll be the best one he's ever had. I'll run his errands, and I'll shine his shoes. You dig? Because I have a hunch he killed Chris. And if he did, I'm going to kill him. Even so, in Christ, you're all been made alive. That's Sidney Pepper, all right. You killed the wrong man. How could I tell? They're twins. He had his back to me. Well, get him now. Right. But get him! All right, all right. waiting for. <coughs> you missed him, you dog. He moved his ruddy head. We'll get him now. All right, all right.
Tschüss. Oh, I'm salt. Would you answer the phone, please? If it's some man about a report, tell him I lost it. What? Lord? Who, Lord? Don't call me Lord. I'm not God. Me Lord? You ain't gonna believe what this cat's saying on the phone. He wants to know if you're gonna hold your ball. What? That's what he said. And if you ain't gonna hold it, then you wanna drop it. Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, Tom. Yes. Yes, sad day. Thank you. What? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I think we should proceed with it, seeing as it's for charity. Yes. Yes, we'll be driving down after lunch. Thank you. The charity ball at the castle this week. My lord? Yes? Your vest. It was in the waste paper basket. You intend to throw it away? Yes, I meant to. You can have it if you want. <laughs> My lord, my lord, Miss Tompkins presents her apologies. I can be here on the town to the doctors about her bad knee. Thank you, Thomas. This is the upstairs maid I was telling you about. Still has a glint in her eye. That's a good bet for you, Salt. Bad knee. Should slow her down to a mere walk. My lord, uh, welcome ginger beer for you and your friend. Uh, this is our housekeeper, Alice. I'm terribly sorry, my lord. Well, these are, these are my humble lodgings. Oh, this doesn't keep you off the street, do you know? uh, Tones, I'd like Mr. Salt to have the Emperor suite. Will you take him along? Yes. I'll see you later. Sure glad me lord decided to modernize the bedrooms at least. Because otherwise a castle like this can get pretty spooky. 
Oh, so sorry, sir. I neglected to get the key. But I shan't be half a moment, sir. Don't hurry. Oh, but I shall, sir. That's soft. That's a soft bed boy. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Salt, let me assist you. Thank you. Me your hand. That's really a soft bed. Indeed, yes, brother, sir. Yes. Now, sir, perhaps I best show you around. Yeah, I think that's best. You come with me this way, sir. Along. That's it, sir. Are you all right, sir? Oh, I'm right behind you. Oh, good. That's true, yeah. Bathroom here, sir. Yes, hot water geezer here. Uh, better show you how it works, hmm, huh? Yeah, I think you better. Uh, yeah. You were Master Christopher's partner, sir. Yes, I was. Ah, there was a lovely boy. You liked him? Liked him? Loved him? There'll never be another like him. Tombs? I think you and I are going to get along famously. Maybe a friend of Master Christopher's is a friend of mine, sir. Thank you. Now, sir, what you have to do is to light this little jet, and then you turn the tap in, and the, uh, the main burners light up. I see. Right? Right. Now, sir, remember, little jet first. Hmm?
Was that quite clear, sir? Or shall I demonstrate again? Oh, oh no. No more demonstrations. I have it all in my mind now. <laughs> yes, but you see, it's very useful to have a geezer, sir. I don't want a geezer or a geyser. I have no use for that kind of thing. Whatever happens, just taps it. You just turn on like psh, hot, psh, cold. That's all I need. You understand that? Will you get hot and cold from the geezer, sir? Oh, from the geezer? <laughs> yes, sir. I'll use a wash and dry. I don't really need a tub. I'll stay this color anyway, no matter how many times I wash. So that's it for me. See, I don't need no geezer, and I don't need no more any kind of instructions. I'm going to go see the... I came across this in the hall. Is it yours? Yes. It's mine. I don't think you'll be needing it here. We don't use this kind of weapon for sporting shooting. I didn't bring this for sport, sport. I brought this for something else. And these ain't no blanks. you've gone away to tell you the truth my friend I think I've lost my way and where do I find that special kind of laugh that once to share There's no way I know that I can go that's gonna take me there Take me there What do I do from now on I'm on my own stage that I stand upon is so very empty now. There must come a time the sun's gonna shine to warm this sad old heart of mine. Just when So where do I go from Where? 
Personally, but I want his report before they get him. Pepper must be aware of the danger, sir. So there has to be a good reason for his delay. Oh, I see. And while we are waiting on his lordship's pleasure, another fortune in diamonds gets smuggled into the country. Now, damn it, you said he was on the verge of cracking the ring wide open. Well, that was the impression he gave us. I don't want impressions. I want facts. Now, get someone to Pepper and get that report. Liking, sir. Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, 1955. Oh, <laughs> that's about the same year you left the kitchen, huh? <laughs> oh, never mind. Mm. Ex 
excellent wine, my lord. You should try some. You don't know what you're missing. Perhaps I don't. Uh, maybe I should try some, just this once. Well, it is your wine. Uh, why don't you move down here? Bring the bottle with you. That's a good idea. Tell me, what did you and Christopher do in your spare time to relax? Well, we used to have fun. There was always, you know, the booze and the broads. But most of all, we just sort of had laughs, that's all. Well, what else did you two do? I mean, it, it couldn't mean all booze and bro... Whiskey and girls. We used to play gin a lot. Gin rum. <laughs> that Chris. He was really a champ, man. I could never beat him. What fun. Oh, great fun. You must teach me. My lord, mm. uh, Miss Tompkins has returned from the doctors and uh, would like to present her compliments. Yes, well, then wheel her in, would you? And prepare the card table in the library. Uh, yes, my lord. Miss <sighs> Tompkins. I think she's the one with housemaid's knee. Good evening, my lord. I'm so sorry I wasn't here when you arrived. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, quite, quite all right. Um, this is Mr. Salt. Mr. Salt? <gasps> I have sorted out your correspondence. Um, everything can wait till the morning. Uh, uh, good, good. Uh, same hour, then? Yes, yes. Good night, my lord. Mr. Salt. <laughs> to be a ball. Can I just ask you one, one thing? Anything you want, me lord. All right. Well, I have three sixes, three kings, and, and four aces. Now, wh what does that mean? You put the cards down on the table, and you say gin. Oh, I see. Now, in that order, I mean, the kings go first, and then the... Just put the cards down on the table, me lord. Oh, very well. Here we are. Now I gotta count... What I got in my hand. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Gin is 30. And, and, and oh, my goodness. The double, is it you said? Yes, double. Yeah. That's 200. You've won the first game on a blitz, my lord. Oh, a well, blitz. Yes, that means the other person didn't get nothing. I see. I see. <laughs> oh, now you, you, I'm, I'm in that column, I see. Yes, one. and this one is all over for me. So we, now we smear it again? Yes, we right. do it again. Okay. You just deal the cards, will you please? Oh, yes. Oh, terrible hand. It's ghastly. Oh, that's too bad. Ghastly. Let's see now. What does that do for me? This over here. I say, right in the middle. I do believe it's gin again. So, Salt, does it make any difference if it goes from sort of ace th through to the... Where, where did you learn to, to do that? Oh, that, that's my own nanny used to do that. Terrible arthritis, she used to do that all the time. Nanny. 20, 30, 40, 60, 64, and 6. Uh-huh. La-da-da-da-da-do-dee-dee. 
Now, me lord, you will learn a lesson. The knock card is four. Watch this. Three eights, three sixes, four, three, and a five in back of the four. I knock with two. Ah, I say. It's splendid. Now, well, what do I do? Oh, you just yes. count up all that you've got in your hand. Yes. I see three sevens. Yes. Three jacks. Yes. Three fives. And that lays me with one. That's an undercut. What? That means you get 26 points. Oh, jolly hockey stick. Oh, come on. Just one more set. One, three games across. Because oh. I got to get. What is so, that? Huh, huh, huh. Come on, we play. Well, it's getting awfully sort of late. And we've got a big, big day tomorrow, you know? Big day tomorrow? Yes. Why don't we just sort of put it away? Oh, for a hot bath in bed. What? Listen, speaking of that, mm. what am I going to do about one? No, he's mine. Hey, thanks. <laughs> in, in there tonight, you uh, when you had the wine and playing cards, you were very much like Chris. It was like being with him again. It's a shame you never knew what a great guy he was. Well, see you in a minute. Mm. What's the matter, Sydney? You look as if you've never seen me before. Well, it has been quite some time. <clears throat> Three weeks? Well, come on, don't just sit there. I'm not quite sure. Darling, you do your best. Get up. What is it? Salt. He's coming here to take a bath. I must stop him. I wish I didn't answer you, because that would mean I wasn't. Oh, uh, listen, forget about the bath tonight. Forget... Me lord, I am dirty. Well, then commit yourself to a laundry. There's no bath tonight, that's final. Brothers, all right. The same line that Chris always used. The same line!
I came here merely to tell you that you were right all along. No, about what? About everything. The job, the castle, the atmosphere. There you are. Beginning to like it down here, eh? Like it? Like it? Love it! I love it! Love it! You were also right about Chris, of course. Huh? Well, he wasn't a winner at all, was he? He was a bit of a loser. <laughs> Change your tune, haven't you? It's because of you, me lord. I mean, you're the type of man that I want to be around. You represent all the, the great things in life. You have dignity, society. You have a great life. This is living, babe. Oh, pardon me, my lord. <laughs> I got carried away there just for a second. It is always nice to have loyal friends who will follow you to the grave, if not beyond. Well, me lord, you know, tear here and there. I am a bit of an actor. But in point of fact, I didn't like him. Why not? Because he didn't like me. You see, it was a bit of a game we always played, you know, that, that sort of thing. What I mean is, he cheated me, I cheated him. And of course, there was always the ladies. Oh, the beautiful ladies. Actually, he was a bit of a loser there, too. I say, steady. No, I mean it, actually, because, you see, he would pick them up for a couple of weeks, and then they would drop him. <laughs> and then, of course, guess who they would pick up then? <laughs> Little me. Uh, the latest one. What was her name again? Let me think. Oh, yes, Janine. Janine, that was her name. Oh, he was crazy about her, sir. Really crazy about her. I can hear her now saying to him, Oh, Christopher, I must leave you now. I must go home to Mother. Here's the mother she went home to. <laughs> Oh, was it something I get said? Out, out. Was it something out. I said? Out. And wait a minute. Out of wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. What? Why don't I get out? Out. Out. Anything you say, me lord. But remember, if you but need a thing, open up your door and yell for the twit, and I shall be here. Can I do anything for you now, me lord, before I leave? I suggest you get rid of that ridiculous British accent. Doesn't suit you. It doesn't suit me. Doesn't suit me. Well, suppose I say to you that we're going to meet later on down the line. We'll simonize our watches, get the whole sack of Cracker Jacks going in the back, my lord. And I'll see that we have a meeting at the large hall. And I'll get Ruby Begonia on the phone there. Oh, is he going to get his now? Business in South Africa, monkey business. You were never off the horizontal. I don't know what you're... Lord Sydney Square? Lord Bam Bam, thank you, ma'am. But I... I don't know who's been teaching you, but you certainly found yourself a great mistress. Some of the boys recommended you gentlemen very highly. Said that you're experts at uh, getting stubborn people to uh, talk. They generally sing for us. They, they generally sing for us. Yes, well, this is the situation. Pepper was employed by Interpol to try and bust my outfit, but I bought him and he worked for me instead. You bought Lord Pepper? Everyone has a price, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson has a price? You're Mr. Wilson. Oh. Mr. Gordon, there's a big ball on at the castle tonight. All the better. Be able to slip inside and wait for him. Now, there's no time to waste. We've got to get to him first, or else someone else will. Who? Interpol? He probably means Interpol. All them, but I was thinking about Johnny Lee's sister, Kim Lee. 
I've just heard that she's hightailed for England, bent on revenge, and maybe after the diamonds. Nope. Somehow this outfit just doesn't go with me. Oh, on the contrary, sir. You look exactly like the chocolate dandy. Chocolate what? Uh, chocolate dandy, sir. Who was he? Oh, uh, a well-known figure at the court of Louis XIV, sir. Uh, they do say the king's favorite. Favorite what? Well, just, uh, just favorites, sir. Uh, they were known as favorites, uh, people the monarchs took to, as you might say. Did you know him? Oh, no, sir. Uh, just missed that one. <laughs> Beautiful, my lord. Bonnie Prince Charlie to the life. The chocolate dandy. I can see it now. Your Majesty. Me lords and me ladies, welcome to the Grand Ball. Bring your arm, make it handy, for upon my word, there's the chocolate dandy. season. All was held at the castle. Oh, but of course, Danny Ho and all that sort of bull. <laughs> oh, care for a pinch? What? Oh! This is our dance, Daddy. Oh, delighted, my dear. Excuse me, will you? Of course, sir. Oh! 
Ladies and gentlemen, in answer to many requests, here it is. Ladies' choice. Choose your own partners. Hit it, boys. I'm cutting in. I'm Jean Abernathy from Interpol. I must see you alone after the ball. Excuse me. <laughs> but do we, uh, do we know each other? Only by reputation, Lord Patton. I'm here to settle a little account with you. So, uh, what is your name? Lee. That's my last name. Johnny Lee's sister. And he's still alive. Oh, then kicking, I hope. Did old Johnny come tonight? You'll excuse me. Very nice to meet you. I hope I see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Charlie Salt. Well, you're gonna know it when the feeling hits you. You gonna show it when it's starting to get you now. Read. Let me see. All these books and not one ebony. Darkness. 
We have a visitor. Won't you join our little party? One thing, you ain't gonna have no trouble with me leaving, because I'm gonna leave right now. You understand that? Never gonna come back here, never no more. Don't have to worry about it. This is one cat's going back where he belongs. Forever. Dad! I've got something to tell you. You've got something to tell me. I'm in trouble. It's monstrous. That's it. You got monsters in your cellar. Gene Abernathy from Interpol. I've been working with them for the past six months. There was all sorts of valves and bubbly things and chemicals. Trying to smash a diamond smuggling ring. You know something? I saw it, but I don't believe it. What are you carrying on about? Huh? I mean, huh? Oh, oh it's my mum. Monsters. You got real monsters, my lord, in your cellar. Real monsters. I've seen them all in the movies. You got Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster. You got Igor. And on the table is this beautiful chick, long blonde hair, going, Hey, sweet cakes, how are you? And you also got the vampire. Won't you come in? Salt, you're drunk. You think I'm drunk? Come with me, please. Would you please? Because I'm going to prove this once and for all, right over there to that large bookcase. What are you talking about? I am not drunk. I just want you to do me one small favor, but prepare yourself for death. Pull that book. This one right here. But be careful now. <laughs> Tall to die. <laughs> what is this, Chinese New Year? I mean, why the firecracker? I know. Shut up. Now listen carefully, Mr. Salt. I've never met Lord Sidney Pepper before tonight. But I came 7,000 miles to see him. <laughs> 7,000 miles? Isn't that a long way to go for a blind date? Not quite blind. You see, I happen to know where he has hidden the diamonds. Diamonds? You didn't murder Johnny Lee. He's still alive and told us everything. That ain't all I'm gonna call you as soon as you're strong enough to take it. And you can give up the phony voice as well, because I know who you are, so talk regular, all right? You really took me through some changes, Pally. I only put you down, Charlie, because I didn't want to get you involved, in case anything went wrong. In case anything went wrong? Chris, if you knew how wrong it went, you'd die. I mean, really die. Those friends of yours are coming back here, man. I know. I know. 
themselves to some diamonds or something. Let me tell you the story of Big Brother, huh? For starters, he joined Interpol, double-crossed them. Then joined the smugglers, double-crossed them. In between times, half murders a cat and then steals a million in diamonds. How's that for a nice, neat little package? And all I want to do is put my feet up. Pal of mine, those friends of yours will put your feet up permanently if you don't leave the country by tonight. The Johannesburg police picked up a badly wounded member of the gang, name of um, oh, Johnny Lee. He offered to turn Queen's evidence, and, uh, well, they got the whole story out of him. Lord Pepper, of all people, it's incredible. Oh, he's a vicious, dangerous criminal. And we think he may be a murderer, too. That's why we called you in, Inspector. Murder? Who? His brother, Christopher. Now, the guest work, of course, but we think Christopher Pepper may have discovered what he was up to. And perhaps tried to blackmail him. Well, that'd be typical. And you think Lord Pepper may have killed him to shut his mouth? Exactly. And so you're coming with us to Pepperworth Castle to make the arrest. Hello, Pepperworth One. This is King Lee. They're after you to kill you. They know where her diamonds are. Force me to tell them. Well, where are they? We've been looking for them all night. I can't get for them. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hey, Chris, that was a Chinese chick. Well, they're gonna have to come in more than once a week. Chris, will you listen to me? That was a Chinese chick, and she's in trouble. Those guys know where the diamonds are. So do we. A million pounds in diamonds painted black. Here, put it back on. <laughs> Time to mount, my lord. Enjoy the hunt, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Change of plan. Change of plan. We walk out of here as if nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Make a dash for the car. Right. Meet it for the nearest police station. Right here, the police station with cash. A million pounds. Crazy. <laughs> Five of them are here. Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah, that means they're gonna shoot the buttons off this vest. Now I know why you wanted me to wear it. Back to plan one. What? Cross country. That means you're gonna have to ride a horse. I can't ride, Chris. Then play it by ear. I got a flash for you. My ear can't ride either. Come on. They've seen us. Prepare plan two. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> No familiarity. No familiarity. I'll get it now. Go. Somehow this don't look right. Just hold it. Oh, Paul. Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm getting it. I got it now. That ain't right. That's definitely not right. Get me out from here. Can you just give me a leg up, like they always do? That's, that's it. Ah, I can see. When you know, see, you know, because what happened? That ain't it either. Once again. Come here, Go on, hands, please. Hello there. It's a marvelous day for a hunt, isn't it? <laughs> Having a bit of trouble with the gout, of course. But besides that, looks like a marvelous day. Shall we go? Tally hands! Now you two follow as best you can in the car. Everybody set?
never get here. Come on, give me a lever. <laughs> Westerns in England now. Hopefully they got a phone. This, but there's Indians out there and they ain't friendly. What are you raving about? All right, maybe I didn't see the monsters, but you can't deny that. Yeah. Have a drink and cool it. Chris, I tell you. All right, Salt, take off that yellow vest. Go ahead. Give him the yellow vest. Oh. The yellow vest, of course. Just one minute, sir, because we're gonna... Would I forget you? What about the belt? Could you come in tomorrow around two for a fitting? Closing time, gentlemen. Will you come down here? I'd like to use your phone to report the most extraordinary hat. you, dear? Hmm? A anything exciting happening at home? Hmm? Hello, hello, hello. We meet again, Lord Sidney Pepper. And this time I have a warrant for your arrest. Oh, now, just a minute, Inspector. I'm not Sidney Pepper. Well, you must be from Interpol. Mm. Well, we've got a nice little present for you. A million pounds in diamonds. The button's on that yellow waistcoat. Right here. It's too late to make amends now, Pepper. <laughs> I'm not Sidney Pepper. I... I'm Christopher Pepper. I took his place when he was killed. Any damn fool can shape off a moustache and put on a phony one. You'll have to do better than that. I can do better than that. Hmm? I can prove without question that this man is not Lord Sidney Pepper. Now. Could I have a word with you in private, please? Uh -huh. What do you 
suppose she's telling them? I don't know, but it must be something big. <laughs> oh, Inspector! Oh, Inspector. How are you? How are you? Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, sir. <laughs> Would you join us in a drink? <clears throat> well, I don't usually drink, Mr. Pepper. Uh, me don't. <laughs> but seeing as how I'm not on duty, I don't mind if I do. Wonderful. Charlie, we're doing the honors? Of course. Two scotch and soda, sir. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm thinking about the last, last time I went to this place, I pulled open this book and I thought all kinds of things. I must have been on some kind of trip. Two scotch and soda. going on around there. <laughs> oh, nothing, Inspector. Uh, suppose we just pull the book back in and shut the door. Huh? Come on. Now, listen, you two, if what's going on around there is what I think it is. Oh, it's not what you think it is, Inspector. It's unthinkable. Will you shut the door? If what is going on around there is an illicit still, oh, I'll send you both down. Oh, no matter me. who you are. Look, will you listen to me, Inspector? <laughs> Inspector, remember, I warned you. And I have warned you. Smith! Huh. Yeah. Ah! Now, look, what is going on in there? Let me put it this way to you, Chris. I don't think they're going to be in our next picture. Shall we split? Just saying there, those two guys ain't gonna be in our next picture. Yeah, why? Well, don't you think we ought to finish this one first before we talk about the next one? Well, this one's finished. Look, the diamonds are safe, the bad guys got theirs, the two girls went back to London, Croc is where Nasty Fuss should be, and, and you're Peter Lawford again. Yes, I know all that. Well, but they're still watching. They're... My name is Sammy Davis, Jr. From a Wimple Will. Will you hold it? Look, if you've got it so... you got it so well figured out where the two bad guys that Gordon hired to knock us off. Well, we don't have to explain that. The audience knows the picture's over with. Why doesn't somebody tell them it's over? Let's move. You mean, let's get it on. I mean, let's get it on. Yeah. Oh, one more time. I said, oh, one more time. 